a test tube baby. It will be, hopefully. You got insinuated. Inseminated? I hear that's expensive. Oh, tell me about it. I've been saving since forever. You went to a sperm bank? Do you know what kind of perverts go to those places? Healthy, educated perverts. Few of them are homo sapiens, some practicing heterosexuals. You really want one of those fathering your baby? This is something I can make happen myself, and I am doing it. I think this is wonderful. You do? You do? Don't you? She sounds like a country song. Buy a dog. What do you do? In six months. You better make the most of it. We need to throw you a shower, honey. No, people won't understand. They'll think it's a mistake and just feel sorry for me. I feel sorry for you. No, maybe, maybe we can put on the shower invitation. Please note, this baby is actually wanted. I don't need a shower. Hey, your life is over. You deserve a party. Bonnie. No more free time. Forget about ever having another penny to spend on yourself. The only men chasing you are going to be creepo fetish types. You don't think I haven't thought about all that? Are you really ready for this? No. Will you be? In six months. Probably not. Then what business do you have doing it? Oh, none. It's not a business. A baby is not an investment. I just think your attitude is a little haphazard. Haphazard? I have been planning and saving for three years. Why didn't you just poke a hole in a rubber? Or for that matter, get married. No. No, you two are not gonna make me feel bad about this. This is a, a good decision, and, and I'm gonna have a good baby. <laughs> Did I say that right? Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm gonna squeeze you to pieces. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I could babysit. What? You keep her walking around, I'll call 911. Except for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights are out of the question. She's coming out of it. I don't hear you offering to babysit. I could. Really? You two want to do that for me? I think we could raise a baby better than any couple. Whoa, I said I would babysit. The three of us make up the ideal woman. Beauty, brains, and personality? There's only three things that make up an ideal woman. Sure, and we contradict each other pretty well. You mean complement each other? Don't go overboard. No, each of our strengths fills in a weakness of the other two. Like the three witches in Macbeth? I don't see foreign films. Anyway, what's ideal about a witch? She's got bad skin and facial hair. No, they're strong, smart, in control of their own destiny. Look, Lynette's the brains, Candy's the personality, and I'm the beauty. I'm gonna start picking up the dishes. Don't leave me alone with her. It's not like I'm saying anything bad, come on. Candy's got personality, everybody loves her. And you've got the whole school thing, you're smart, and I get a lot of attention. Candy gets attention. I get attention. I mean from men. You know, maybe we should just change the subject. I am so upset right now. I don't, I don't know what to say. You don't mean all this, do you, Bon Bon? Sure I do. It's like a monkey playing with dynamite. It's a compliment. That you think you're prettier than us? That's a compliment? No, you're smarter than us, and Candy has more personality than us. But you don't care about brains and personality. I clearly don't need them, but where would you two be? Thank you.